And I'm back with new videos today, and today we're going to talk about the worst fucking guns in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I can say that I've used every single gun, really because you know, I'm flexing my fucking Damascus camo pretty much everywhere I go for the last like three videos or whatever the fuck. But, I can pretty much show you what the best and worst guns are. So, we're going to go ahead and go down the line. We're going to go ahead and start with primaries and the worst. Um, we're going to pretty much be ranking the assault rifles from uh, worst to best. Pretty much. I can't say anything about the DLC weapons only because they're eh. I haven't really touched them that much. Maybe the RAM a little bit, but I was just bored. But the of the initial weapons, we're going to go ahead and touch on which ones were the best, which ones were the worst. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and start with uh, the assault rifles. Like I said, we're going to just be ranking them. So the fall is definitely the worst assault rifle. I don't know why it's in the assault rifle category. It should be in the marksman rifle only because it is not semi-automatic. It absolutely blows when it comes to getting the camos for this, especially the hip fires, being that it's a semi-automatic weapon. So putting it at the worst assault rifle, followed up by the Odin. Although it's super powerful and super good at long range, it's really bad at short range and really doesn't have that great handling no matter what attachment you put on that bitch. Um, so yeah, kind of sucks. Next, we have the Scar. Scar is also pretty terrible. It's got a lot of recoil and not that much ammo at all. Um, it's a kind of forgettable gun for such an iconic uh, name as the Scar. So, I mean, it's, it's all right. It's whatever, I guess. Um, next up, we do have the uh, AK. AK is getting better. It's been buffed a couple times, but it's um, getting a lot more attachments and variations to the gun, so it's actually not that bad, but it's uh, definitely not the best. Next up, we have the Kilo, which is a pretty mid-range assault rifle. It's not that great. Um, it's really, really stable, but I feel like it's super weak compared to the top three assault rifles that we're going to be coming up with. Um, it's pretty much a toss-up between the top three. You guys don't know, but it was left is the M4A one, the FAMAS, and the M13. So the M13 is really light. A lot of attachments go, can go onto it that make it super, super versatile. But same thing goes for the M4. Uh, although, I personally think that the best assault rifle is the FAMAS because you can pretty much one burst with the right attachments, uh, saving you a lot of ammo compared to these other two assault rifles. But if I had to rank uh, the top three in order, it'd be the M13, the M4, and the FAMAS. Um, I just personally use the M4 just because it has the most ammo and I don't have to take up so many attachment slots for making it super deadly like I would for the M13 or the FAMAS. So that's the assault rifles, where's the best. Next, we have the SMGs. Um, SMGs kind of vary. We're just going to go ahead and talk about some of them. They were actually all pretty good. They weren't, like, difficult to use at all. Um, but if I think I had to rate, rate them, I think uh, the Uzi would definitely be the worst one. Only because there's, like, somewhat of a delay when you shoot it. You have to, like, click it. It makes a little click noise, and then it starts firing. Plus, the magazine's really, really short. Um, although the fire rate's really slow. Plus, its damage is really, really whack compared to everything else. Although, the range is really, really good. Um, and the handling is also really really good when you have the right attachments But I feel like you put way too many attachments on this, this gun to make it um, Stable then you really should be next up We have the PP bison only because this handling on this SMG is probably the worst out of all the SMGs uh, I don't know why it just never feels comfortable. It always feels like it's shooting peas at you so, I don't know um, Next we have kind of a toss-up between the AUG and the P90 um the AUG is really good, but it's super weak. It has good range, and all the attachments seem like they're worth it. The P90, um, you really don't have to put that many attachments on it, and it still feels really good. Um, but it just, the handling is really, really bad compared to the AUG. But if I had to rank them, it'd be the AUG and then the P90. Next up, we have the final top two, the MP5 and the MP7. Uh, MP5 being that it's the competitive assault, uh, assault rifle SMG, we're going to definitely put it up there. Although the MP7, I feel like the attachments on the MP7 really, really impact it and can really make it almost like an assault rifle type SMG. So it's actually really good. I really like it, uh, but I'm going to have to cap the SMGs off with the MP5. Next up, we have the uh, shotguns. There's only four, thank God, um, but there has been a lot of variations to them since the game dropped. Um, Pretty much, you guys all know the 725 used to be the best gun in the game, like the first month of the game, pretty much. Um, currently, it's the worst. It sits at dead last. It's really terrible without any of the attachments. You really have to make this um, either a ranged gun or a close ranged gun to make it um, 
a one shot. So if you want to make it a one shot at long range, your ADS speed's going to be super low and you know, you're going to spend a lot of attachments on your barrel rather than your ADS speeds. Um, or you can make it super short, uh, but you lose all that range if you want to still make it a one shot kill. So yeah. Next up we have the model 680. Same thing as the uh, 725, although it wasn't super broken like it was, uh, like the 725 was. Although you spend a lot of attachments for range and uh, ADS speeds and the damage output is good and great, but I feel like it's definitely trumped by the last two. So I would have to put the Origin up next only because it nearly doesn't have enough range as the R9. The R9 has great range. The only downside to it is that it's like a double barrel. So after two shots, you have to cock back compared to the Origin 12. Well, you don't have to do that. It's a semi-automatic. You can just pretty much spray the brechy kind of thing. But I'm definitely going to have to give it to the R9 as the best shotgun. Moving on to the LMGs. There's only four. We're going to disregard the LMGs. The DLC weapon. Um, we have the PKM, SA, M91, and the MG34. I'm definitely going to say that the SA is terrible. Probably the worst LMG in the game, only because you spend so many attachments to make it, like, handleable. Handleable? Like, usable? It has way, way too much recoil. And you spend a lot of attachments on ADS speed and, um, handling rather than you do damage and range so it's really a toss-up between that one and um i think the m91 is pretty terrible although it's really fast shooting it melts uh it just you spend a lot of attachments trying to make it quicker and it usually fails rather than you know being successful um then we have a toss-up for second between the mg34 and the pkm i'm definitely gonna give it to the pkm though because um the range is really really good on this gun although the damage is nowhere near as much as the mg34 mg34 just absolutely beams anybody from anywhere it's great next we have the marksman rifles there's only three in this category the ebr14 definitely being the worst only because the recoil on it is terrible compared to the other two. We both know that the MK2 is great, so is the Car 98. The MK2 has received a nerf as of recently, so it's kind of a little bit hard to get those one shots every now and then. Although it is the quickest out of the marksman rifles, the Car 98 definitely takes the cake, being that it's more of a sniper and it has all the versatility that an MK2 can provide you. Next up, we have the S snipers. I'm gonna give the worst one to the HDR, which is a prize, only because it's way slower than it should be. Um, no attachments on this gun can make it any better than the AX50 or the Darganov. Darganov is super good. Um, it's almost a one shot if you have the right attachments on. Although I don't use the Darganov regularly because I just like the bolt action snipers. They're just more fun to me. The Darganov is better than the HDR, which is a bolt action. So that's a bold statement. AX50, obviously it's the AX50, best sniper in the game. Riot Shield, we'll get back to that when we go to the melee weapons. We're going to go on to the pistols. Um, we have a lot of pistols this time around. Um, uh, when it comes to the Glock, 1911, the M19, all that good stuff. So I'm going to have to give the um, revolver the worst pistol because of this handling. It's just not that great. It's got good one-shot potential, but you spend so much time uh, like aiming that you have to put on the sight, and it reduces ADS speeds. Uh, snake shot's pretty good, but it really doesn't really do anything for you when it comes to actually like getting constant kills being that the mag size mag size is so slow or so low i bet i mean next up we have the m1911 i just feel like this gun was a pea shooter um even the m19 was better in my opinion um but you could do some pretty cool stylistic things with this gun so i liked it next up we have the m19 it was all right it was a really good ranged pistol not gonna lie all the sights fit perfectly on there and it just seemed natural to shoot at long range or suppress with this gun then we have the x16 the glock we all know how good this is super fast firing super fun to use when you have a lot of bullets in there and uh, when you get a cambu it's, it's over for anybody in your way last but not least the deagle we all know best pistol to ever grace call of duty LMGs, oh boy, we had fun with this fucking thing. Alright, it's it's really a toss-up between number one and dead last for these three. Um, the pillow was definitely the best. The reload speed was fast. It had locking on, which is good. And it really could kill anything very quickly. Uh, the Strella was super fast and it had no locking on. Also, it took forever to reload. I'm going to give it the 
the I'm gonna put this the pillar at number one, the Strella at number two, RPG at number three, and Joker at number four. Joker was terrible. I hated it. Worst fucking thing to ever. Uh, there's always a launcher in every Call of Duty that's just absolutely trash, and that's what this one is. Uh, RPG was just way too slow, although it had good killing potential. Strella was way too fast, but was kind of weak uh, against people at least. And the pillar was just perfect all around. Last but not least, we have melee weapons. You guys saw the riot shield. The riot shield is the worst gun in this fucking thing. It's not even a gun. It's the worst weapon in this whole fucking game. The knife is one of the best, only because when you put it on, you run fast as fuck. And you just, like, you can just knife people. It's really cool. Um, I like it, especially all the variations to it. Um, you can make it a kitchen knife and everything. Um, but yeah, right shield is definitely the fucking worst thing in the game. Um, so yeah, worst and best things in Modern Warfare when it comes to the weapons. Uh, we'll definitely do an updated once uh, we get new DLC weapons and I've played with them all. Other than that, I'll see you guys later. Peace.